Kings, you ever get that feeling that the story of Adam and Eve was about us? That wasn't no tree. That was a black man over there in the garden minding his business. There wasn't no snake. That was the black man's How do you think Eve's son, the one who didn't kill his brother, found a wife? I'm starting to think that there was a black family and a white family working in the Garden of Eden, and Eve couldn't stop peeking over there. I'm thinking King James and the rest of those bad science fiction writers were actually using metaphors to tell the first version of Once You Go Black, You Never Go Back. Yep, this is gonna be a crazy one. Today on Password Kings, we're going over the top 10 countries where African American men can date or find love. In game. Guess who's back? Password Kings. Subscribe and enable notifications so you can see all the other videos you may like. As much as we're told otherwise, African American men are very exotic and very desired. How can we not be? First of all, globally, we are like rare diamonds. America has decimated a lot of us with unfair laws and insurmountable odds of success. We still come out successful. When any other man wants to try to display how tough he is, most likely he tries to do a watered down version impression of an African American man. We are also coolness personified. We walk, talk, and take care of ourselves in all the coolest ways possible. We embody masculinity. We are intelligent because we have always found a way to survive and strive despite the fact that the country that we currently occupy has had countrywide efforts to eliminate us. And we still get money. The black American man is not broke, especially when income is compared globally. The world has tried everything to get rid of us, but we are rebels. Not only that, but we're the fastest, strongest, and most resilient men on earth. We even crack jokes the best. The entire world gets its style from us. You know, everything a woman wants in a man. Now our natural counterpart is the African American woman. They've been right by our side through this evil experiment we find ourselves in in America. Most American black men overwhelmingly only date and marry black women despite what the media has been trying to tell us lately. And you can read the Pew poll results on marriage between races in the link that I'm putting above. Yeah, but many times the smear campaign about black men in the media has made our women just as against us as they try to make the rest of the world. And a lot of times the media has made us against our women by hammering home negativity about them and only showing the most pessimistic aspects of them whenever black American women are mentioned. Well, sometimes black men have just decided that we need a break from them, either temporarily or permanently. A lot of times it's just out of curiosity, but sometimes, and understandably, black men will seek to find a peaceful home life with someone who is not going through a lot of the same mentally damaging problems as he is. Many have found women from these 10 countries to be more than willing to temporarily assist or permanently present themselves as a gift to us to experience relations with arguably the strongest men on earth. Number 10, white chicks in America. When a white American chick lets go of her inhibitions, she's the freakiest soul on earth. The white privilege she has experienced her whole life makes her want to try things sexually that are illegal in most civilized countries. If you ever dated a slightly insane black American girl who perhaps had a pastor as a dad, the experience with a white American chick will be pretty much the same. Beware, the most amazing sex comes from crazy chicks, but so does the most crazy situations you'll find yourself in in your life. Long term relationships usually last about three years. Some black men will go on to marry these women because they just can't imagine going back to boring sex lives. But if you get divorced, remember that this experience will be a hell that a black woman that you've scorned could only dream to inflict on you. You'll certainly lose a fortune financially and you'll actually be lucky if you come out of the breakup with your freedom or even alive. These women and their desire for black men is one of the main reasons the system of white supremacy exists. Those men fear genetic annihilation. If a white woman gets pregnant by a black man, the kid will be black. We probably also would have worked hundreds of years to put our own system of black supremacy in place if every time a black woman had a kid by a white man, the kid came out white. Many times these chicks just want the experience. Many times their psycho husband fantasized about them getting banged out by one of us so much that he'll encourage her to do it. So if you're banging one, make sure you keep an eye on the little flaps in the closet door. You may see an eye peeking out at you from the other side. Date these chicks if you're single, but use extreme caution. Number nine, Japanese women. For the most part, the Japanese culture was cut off from our media other than probably the news. But one day, a hip hop video came on. 
the entire attitude of the women changed overnight. Many of the Japanese guys picked up on an American black man swag as well. They attempted to dress, walk, talk, and act like the black guys they saw on TV. Many Japanese women were impressed by their imitations, but they still wanted to try out the real deal. These relationships could last for years. My blood brother dated one for a very long time, and I knew one brother that I worked with years ago that was having such a great time with his Japanese girlfriend that he married her and moved to Japan. When I first met him, he had just came back to America after a breakup with her. He did nothing but talk about her and Japan for the entire year that we worked together. He only talked to the Japanese woman that came into the store. Toward the end, he was getting depressed in America, so he packed up and left back to Japan. I don't know if he ever found the same woman again, but according to his social media, the Japanese chicks are all choosing. I know I referenced hip hop as their main draw, but you know my brother and the guy from my old job wasn't really into hip hop, so maybe it had something to do with something else. Number eight, Nigerian women. With a lot of nationalities on his list, you're gonna hear me say that the women are actually taught to steer clear of black American men. This is certainly the case with Nigerians. It's actually ironic because after African Americans, Nigerians get the second worst rep of all people in the world. We should be the first people joining forces. Nigerians know how to get their cake up as well. Money. So you'll only most likely ever meet these chicks if you run in rich circles in America. Going over to their country can be a hassle, but when you get there and you go to like the nightlife, you'll think you're in Harlem, New York. The woman will date an African American man that they find cool, but you must be about your hustle. And don't think you're gonna impress them with your size. They've seen way bigger. But they are tired of the arrogance of their men, so you stand a chance in most other areas. The icing on the cake to dating one is they make suya. If you haven't had it, ask a Nigerian girl at your job to bring some in one day. You will instantly fall in love and ask for a hand in marriage. These women dress fresh to death when they want. So have some style about you to catch their attention. Number seven, Jamaican women. Many preconceived notions coming from Jamaican families is not to date African American men. A lot of African American families are told at an early age to leave the Jamaicans alone. The good thing about this notion is when black Americans get to know Jamaicans and vice versa, we all start to realize that we're the same people with the same struggles and many of the same victories. We just talk different. Maturity and both of our cultures rebel mentality helps us see through the nonsense we are taught about each other and why we should hate each other. Successful black American slash Jamaican relationships have many examples and they usually conquer the test of time in America. Even when a guy goes over to Jamaica, he is met with love from that culture. I was. And once you hear about their battles with independence from foreign nations that they had, they will earn the respect that they already demanded from you. The women who are not still struggling with what's real and what's white supremacist brainwashing will greet you with a big smile and show you warmth that you won't find anywhere else. Six, UK London women. A lot of black women in London are from many different countries in Africa, but if you date a white one, be prepared for no backlash. Being an interracial couple is about as normal and boring as it's ever going to get when you're in London. If your goal is to stand out, you have better luck standing out walking down the street hand in hand with someone who looks just like you. But finding love in London is pretty easy. There's nothing else to do in London. Everyone is so bored and tired of rain that cozying up with another living, breathing human is just good enough. And that makes things easy for African American men. Number five, Dominican women. If you grew up in New York as I did, you know that Dominican women families that migrated to America had one rule and one rule only for their Dominican daughters. And that was to never, ever, ever date an African American man. When you would approach one back in middle school and high school, there was a disdain that you could read on their faces. After high school, your chances of dating would increase significantly because they would start to think on their own and become just as mesmerized about trying out the black fruit as everyone else does. Their interests are mostly sexual in nature, but as you get close to them, they will begin to share with you how they were raised and you will start to understand why they were so hard to get with when you were younger. When you get your passport and travel to the Dominican Republic for the first time, you will be blown away by their behavior towards black men because most times their minds have not been as contaminated by American media yet. 
can find one that is not a lady of the night, and these women will love you with their soul. You get the feeling that you're a superhero when you're around them. Haters will say that they only act that way so they can get papers to come over to America, but I found that most black men who get into something serious with them, they wind up moving out to DR for good. Number four, Eritreans and Ethiopians, my habishas. They may think they're a special case, but they aren't. They may tell you that their culture has the strictest rules when it comes to dating men other than fellow habishas. But it's not as strict as they like to tell themselves it is. These women are so beautiful that I made an entire episode about them specifically. So no matter how many barriers are up around them, African American dudes are still going to find a way to penetrate their cultural roadblocks. Not only are these chicks easy on the eyes, but once they do decide that they'll just try out a little sample, well, I'll just, just try out a little sample. They come to realize what everyone else who gives us a chance realize. African American dudes are cool as hell. A lot of them have already started to adopt our culture just like the rest of the world. They like a dude making a significant amount of money, but so does every other woman from every other culture want from every other man from everywhere. Women should be sexy and men should be making a decent amount of money. If you're not, work on that before you start dating and trying to find love. And when you do date or have the pleasure of doing a long term thing with them, it will be hard for you to comprehend how nice and respectful they are. Number three, Brazilian women. What has not already been said about beautiful Brazilian women? I personally know hundreds of African American guys who visited Brazil and was never the same again. They talk about women differently when they get back. All they want to do is spread the word of how Brazilian women and their culture and treatment of black men has changed them. They become almost missionaries in America trying to get African American men to see the light of Brazil. But no one denies that Brazil can be a little bit racist. The residents who are more than 60% black has racist propaganda thrown at them in all forms of their media. Their new president is being called the Spanish Donald Trump. And yes, Donald Trump is racist. And some say it feels like an apartheid system is in place. However, the people there are actually woke and or rapidly waking up. They are embracing their African roots faster than any other country in the world, including the US. The system of white supremacy there is being called out no matter how cleverly it tries to hide itself. The black women realize how beautiful black is and they flaunt it like no other woman in the world can. If you can't find the love of your life in that environment, some guys may consider you clinically brain dead. Number two, Panamanian woman from Panama. When I finally published my countdown on the countries where most African Americans retire, Panama is going to be very high on that list. Many African Americans are retiring in Panama because of the easy living. Panama has some of the most beautiful women on earth and dating them will bring you both peace while you are able to keep a big chunk of your retirement money. The women will treat you with respect and keep quiet. The stereotypical loudmouth Panamanian woman only acts like that because they've been quiet for so long doing what their man says, cooking, cleaning, and being a support system, but then their dudes leave them for the chick down the street, the thick one. An African American man has the power and resolve to return one of these women back to the peaceful creatures that they have the predisposition to be. And number one, Ghana. When most African American people check their ancestry, the results come back as Ghana or somewhere along the Ivory Coast. Out of all the countries in the world, Ghana has done the most to let African American people know that we are welcome to come home. I know there's a movement right now with black men saying that we are Aboriginal to the Americas. I don't know how true that is, but what I do know is that the women from Ghana love us just as much as the country of Ghana does. They have invited each and every one of us to take a staycation in Ghana. Ghana currently tries to attract the descendants of enslaved Africans from the Americas to return to settle there and make the country their new home. Although, not all of us is of Ghana descent. As reported by Valerie Papia Mann, president of African American Association of Ghana, thousands of African Americans now live in Ghana for at least part of the year. To encourage migration, or at least visits from African Americans, Ghana decided in 2005 to offer them a special visa and allow them passports from Ghana. A lot of the countries on this list was mainly for black men to have a good time dating and taking it further. But if you're serious about starting a new life in a new country and settling down with one true love, I cannot recommend a place more inviting than Ghana. The red carpet is practically unrolled for us. We are rare and one of a kind. 
so keep in mind that sometimes women just want to use us for their own little sexual experiences. But many times they're not willing to put up with the social ramifications that comes with being in a long-term relationship with the man that this racist media has been telling them was their enemy from the day they were born. You will see those intentions from a mile away. And if you can't handle that it would just be a sex thing and know that you will want more, just don't do it. And if you happen to find love while you're sowing your royal oats, cherish the chick and understand that a great relationship with any woman, foreign or domestic, is a scarce experience. As the late Honorable Charles Tyler tried to tell us, black men, we have options. So never forget your worth or desirability. Use that power to continue your conquest of the world like a king of passports king. Honorable mention, the Ivory Coast. Just the other day, I booked a trip to Abidjan for a man to go find the woman he lost contact with 20 years ago. As you know, I'm a travel professional, so I can book your trip and show you how to start your own travel business so you can make an extraordinary income part-time. Plus, you'll enjoy the perks of being your own travel business owner. Go to my website for more details. Anyway, 20 years ago, this man was all set up to get married to this beautiful woman that he has spent months on the Ivory Coast with. I'll keep his name anonymous. He met her on an educational retreat. He was supposed to spend a week in Abidjan. I hope I'm saying that right. I know people give me a hard time about pronunciations, but y'all don't be pronouncing things that well either. But anyway, he fell in love with her and extended his stay for months after the group left back to America. Long story short, the dude got engaged but just had to come back to America to pick up a few things so he could live there for good. The moment he left, a civil war broke out and ravaged the area. He didn't know if she was dead or alive. Civil wars are the nastiest kind of wars because almost everyone loses a friend or family member. He lost track of the woman for 20 years and then happened to run into her on social media a few weeks ago. She was doing well, but after talking, they realized they still loved each other and still were willing to go through with the marriage. Now I'm not saying this story will happen to every guy that meets a woman on the Ivory Coast, but another guy had a pretty similar story, and that's pretty good odds. Plus, telling you his story was a cheap, easy way for me to plug my business. 